Yeah. So today we're preparing for backfill and there's a couple steps you have to do before that. Mainly you need to have your joists and subfloor on because that's structure for the backfill. And then bef before that you want to get your damp proofing on. We're using a peel and stick made by Resisto. We're still pretty warm weather so we don't have to put a primer on. We can just stick it onto the ICF. The ICF itself, if it's clean, sticks on really nice. You don't have to prime it. But if it gets cold, they recommend a water-based uh, primer to go on first. But we're lucky it's still pretty warm today. So we're doing a damp proofing all the way around with Resisto, the peel and stick membrane. We're putting um, on the top, we're doing like a termination bar with uh, their caulking sealant product that goes on the top and the bottom. We also did some gussets in the corners, the inside and outside corners, so that when you, when you cut, the, cut your corner and wrap it around, it has full protection on those corners. Uh, after we put on our peel and stick, we're basically gonna increase the R value. We're trying to get to an R40 roughly, trying to do a passive house um, the design, so we're using the Subterra by, by Halo. It's a three inch EPS uh, GPS product. If you look on, on the pictures we've been taking today, you'll see the ICF, the Resisto, and then three inches of Subterra. So we're getting roughly an R40 wall assembly. So the waterproofing or water damping is going on the ICF because that's what we want to protect. We want to keep that dry uh, and warm. And then we're putting the three inches of Subterra on top of that and that acts as increasing our value and also too as a protection board because that subterra has a fabric on it that essentially allows stuff to hit it without damaging the insulation. It's another uh, upgraded protection board essentially and that's our foundation assembly for the basement before we backfill. Um, then also during this phase we're going to put in the weeping tile which goes around the bottom of the footing. We're using a sock weeping tile and putting in minimum six to eight inches of gravel all the way around it tying in and then we're gonna backfill up, up all, on top of all that. And that's the basement assembly for this foundation. Now that we've, uh, we're ready for backfill, we wanna get our basement uh, damp proof. We're using Resisto uh, Peel and Stick. It's a membrane meant for ICF. Um, it's still warm enough, we don't need to use a primer. And ICF, if it's clean, it can adhere really nicely to it. It's still pretty sticky uh, and uh, goes on like this. So we did a chalk line six inches above our grade. Grades down around here. So we went up six inches. Level chalk line across. So you know where to start. They have great instructions online. You can check it out there. But essentially you just want to go on the overlap, which they give you there. Go on your chalk line. Put it on. It is sticky. That's why you want to pre-roll your cut rolls. We went 91 inches for ours. I'm on a three-step bench just to make my life easier because I'm not 91 inches tall. <laughs> and when you put on a roll, you can just grab it and pull it down. You just keep pressure with your left hand or right hand. Your bench and just roll it out. It is tacky, so like now I'm at the bottom. I'm just gonna push it on my corner. We press it on all the way with the roller. Or in the real world, we use our speed squares. So just put pressure to it. I'll fold it on. So now we're at the bottom. Uh, we're gonna put on top of this Subterra three inches. But before we do that, we're gonna wrap up our fast foot like this. put our three inches of subterra on top of this. So we put on our peel and stick resisto and the next step we do is we seal the top. So this is again six inches above grade. This will be covered by a siding or a parging or whatever. But this right here we want to use a sealant on. Uh, resisto makes a, a dry damp surface uh, a sealant. All you do is just caulk the top in and it's kind of like uh, add a layer of protection just to stop anything from getting down behind your peel and stick. So now I've done the top, we're going to go do the bottom right there. Inside corners are hard, so Resisto wants to see a little corner gusset. So we're going to put this in here, 
Fold it in. Not pretty, but it goes in there. 